Hi and welcome to Jeremy Scott Spiritual. This is the Re-Emerging Earth podcast that's been rebranded and uh, the reason for that is the message I was sharing as Re-Emerging Earth has expanded, it's evolved, it's changed a little bit and it kind of no longer fits that remit that I had for that particular title if you like or the particular theme that I was wanting to share. Jeremy Scott Spiritual also fits in with my brand, so it made more sense as everything else I have is branded Jeremy Scott Spiritual. <laughs> it made sense to rebrand this. The theme actually is not dissimilar to what I was sharing in Reemerging Earth. It is talking about still, you know, how we can uh, deal with things now and move on to a better future. However, in a more expansive way, I feel, because the future, if you like, is something that's very far into our future, <laughs> very far ahead. So I'm looking at different topics to include in uh, this particular podcast. As I'll be sharing a, a, an episode at least once a week and uh, should go out on the same days providing uh, life and other things don't get in the way. It, uh, the kind of things I'll be talking about will be, as I said, similar to what I was talking about in re-emerging Earth, about personal development, spiritual growth, but also more expansive topics. I'm currently writing a book called Eve's Gift, that's the working title, and then the subtitle is For an Awakening Global Spiritual Community. So I'll be delving more into that as we go along, sharing some, some thoughts. And as I do the writing, I've written, uh, oh, I don't know, probably about 10, 10 to 15,000 words. I tend not to count or focus on the amount of wordage until I'm a bit further along and I have a look back so all right so okay because I'm writing it in sections not in chapters and I'm writing it as and when that information comes to me a lot of it is also being channeled in that sense as well but it's also based on a lot of things that I've learned especially over the past year or so since I last wrote anything in uh, Re-emerging Earth. Well, last wrote, last posted an episode in Re-emerging Earth. I'm also writing another book. So I'm very busy these days, you know. Well, so I'm writing another book called Reiki Pure and Simple, and that is a Reiki-based book, obviously. And uh, it's the idea behind it is to help those who don't want to pay out for expensive. Reiki courses or they're not bothered about getting bits of paper to stick on the wall. They're not interested in starting a practice to make money out of Reiki. You know, they want to, to use Reiki for themselves as a way to improve their health, to improve their well-being. And I'm designing or the way I'm, I've designed the book or the way I'm going to share the book uh, or the content of the book helps with that. That's the whole idea, the ethos behind it is that you can learn Reiki or how to use Reiki without many of the uh, what would you call it? not not attributes many of the details or, or the, the fussiness around rituals and so on around Reiki today and also give a rundown the true history of Reiki and things like that so I'm well on with that I've written something along the lines of 20 odd 23,000 words I think it is and it is actually based on a book I wrote and self-published a few years ago which I've since taken down uh, I had it on Amazon and uh, almost immediately I took it down because when I self-published it through their KDP system I noticed once I'd got my own copy that the font was tiny and it wasn't what I had stipulated in the settings. So that kind of annoyed me, so I withdrew it. So I was quickly published and unpublished <laughs> at the same time, you know. 
but I think I can still call myself an author. But it's, <laughs> so this new book is based on that. There's a lot of elements of that that I've included in the new book. And I'll be sharing those uh, in, in future episodes as well on here. So I'm looking forward to doing that. As always, guys, you know, my podcasts are uh, no frills. You know, the episodes are no frills. I'm out and about because I like to be out and about recording. I find that my thoughts flow freer when I'm out and about rather than when I'm sitting in front of a computer with headphones on and using orthonic and other tools to record and then edit and record and edit and make perfect and so on. I can't be bothered with all that. You know, it's, it's nice to use. It's great to have like the perfect you know, episode of perfect recording, but I feel it's not real, it's not needed. So I like to be as real as possible. So what you get is the raw me. This is me talking. I'm walking through a graveyard right now. You know, because this, this is one of the best places for me to come to do any recording, whether it's podcasting or videos or whatever I do, because A, it's quieter, there's less traffic noise and, and things like that. And B, it's also pretty sheltered. So today is a bit of a gloomy day. There's a bit of a breeze around. However, it's not affecting me over much. So I'm able to, to make this recording. So it's a bit of eclectic way of, a, of approaching things, I suppose. But then, you know, that's me just being me. The real me. I'm not pretending to be anybody else. I'm not trying to emulate anybody else. I'm not even looking for a unique selling point in that sense. I'm not really looking for a different way of doing things. This is just how I like to do it. Because I know that if I sat in front of that computer, I'd be constantly editing. I'd be doing takes after takes after takes, you know, and recording and deleting, recording, deleting. And you know, the, the, the final episode, you know, once it's finished, wouldn't sound anything like the idea that I originally had. So if I have an inspiration, an idea that I want to share, that I want to record, I have a quick run through in my mind, you know, as I'm walking along to the place where I want to do the recording. So I have a general idea and then I just talk as I'm doing now, you know, and, and see what comes out. <laughs> and sometimes that can be a bit dodgy. I know that other times, it works really, really well. But as this is just a, a first episode and uh, of this new format, I'm still calling it season three. So it's still season three, first episode of season three. And, you know, for those of you who don't know me or haven't experienced how I do things, the, the previous episodes, season one and two, that I did with Re-Emerging Earth or under the name Re-Emerging Earth are below, you know, they're still included. Yeah, and you'll get some good stuff there as well. But I am, for, for those who don't know me, I am a spiritual life coach. I'm a Reiki master and teacher, or Shinpaiden level in the Isui Reiki system. I'm a law of attraction teacher, life purpose coach, yeah, and several other things that I've got bits of paper for. And thought leader. I like to view myself that as well, not as an ego trip, but because I have something to share. And apparently, if you've got something to share and you do it publicly, then you are classed as a thought leader. So there you are. And as I've just mentioned, I'm also an author. So there you go. So I'm not jumping myself up. I'm not bigging myself up in any way. That's just me. I have ideas that come to me, ideas I want to share. And they, they're, I feel they're relevant for our times that we're living in right now, and also very relevant for how things are moving forward. Eve's gift, as an example, that's going to be looking at some really uh, deep topics, as deep, deep as, uh, as it can go, really, spiritually, because I'll be talking about or discussing three of the most fundamental questions that we have. Where do we come from? Why are we here? and where are we going? And I'll be diving straight into those. 
and I'll be using as a base, if you like, as a foundation, I'll be using the Bible. And you've got to go, oh no, it's one of those theological things. No, I do not identify as a practicing Christian. No longer, I should say, no longer, because I was at one time. I spent 14 years as a Jehovah's Witness. And through that time, I studied the Bible back to front at least five, six, possibly seven times in depth. So it, it's, it's a book that I'm well versed with. And I also know that the way I studied it gave me greater insights than what I was actually being taught at that time. Because uh, uh, obviously what the witnesses teach is in line with their doctrine. However, I was seeing things and getting insights which were outside of that. And these are the kinds of things that I'll be sharing in Eve's Gift. Because I feel there's a greater message there than what is normally portrayed from the Bible, especially from creation, you know, the way that's told. And I know that there's so many other thought leaders and spiritual teachers and others who've done documentaries, whatever you about other gods and things, Anunnaki and, or, and, you know, and Atlantis and Lemuria and stuff like that. But I feel it goes beyond that, it goes back further. Because a lot of the timings involved with those accounts don't tie in to what's actually happened. And I've been getting some downloads, I've been getting some intuitive insights about that which I'll also be sharing not only in Eve's gift I'll be sharing on this podcast as well to give you a kind of insight I won't be going too deep because uh, that might be a bit too frightening for some of you <laughs> but I will also you know I'll be referring to different parts of the Bible quoting from it and so on I'll be focusing on the book of Revelation because that is a totally fascinating book and no one I feel has come up with a decent enough interpretation if you like of what John was actually writing you know the Apostle John and his vision that he had and I wouldn't say I've found the truth either I wouldn't say I've decoded it but I have an idea and some of that comes to me as I'm writing so the more I write the more I'll learn in that respect as well so you've got that to look forward to I'll also be referring to, to other so ancient texts religious or otherwise, different things from different belief systems, because being someone who's spiritual encompasses all things spiritual. There is no one set of beliefs that I follow. There is no one set of doctrine that I have to abide by. You know, there's nothing like that. All belief systems, as far as I'm concerned, have their place and do their work for what they're supposed to do in a very, very good way. However, there are elements within those belief systems which perhaps due to free will have gone awry and have become more controlling and more manipulative in that way as well, especially where it comes to the rights of women and things like that. And that's not just in the Islamic belief system, it's also in the Christian and others as well. So I'll be looking at things like that perhaps as well. That's just to give you a brief overview of what to expect in upcoming episodes. I'm trying to think, is there anything else here that uh, I want to share before I finish? Rain's just started, so that's great. Good job, I've got a little brully with me. But, <laughs> but I don't mind. I just love being out and about to say, being the real me, you get in the raw me. Rather than sitting inside, stuck in front of a computer, I'd rather be out here chatting with you guys. The new functions, because I'm recording this on Anchor and therefore it automatically goes on to Spotify. And because of that, there are new functions. There's questions and answers you can give. You know, I can ask a question, you can reply to it. There's polls. So I take part in the poll as well. If you've got any comments, any feedback, please leave comments. Let's engage. Let's start a conversation in that way as well. If you want to get in contact with me directly, you can contact me at jeremyscottspiritual at gmail.com. I haven't got any fancy website domain 
email address. Not the moment anyway, maybe at some time in the future. I have got a website, jeremyscottspiritual.com, which you can go to and check me out uh, on there. See the kinds of things I do, although I am in the process of doing some updates, or will be doing some updates going forward, adding this podcast onto a page, doing a blog and things like that as well. So it's, it's a work in progress, but there's a good chunk of it there. It's been there for a couple of years, to be honest. So it, it kind of works well. So that's about it, I think, for now, guys. Really appreciate you listening to me and uh, looking forward to sharing more with you going forward as we get deeper and deeper into things. Well, there's one thing I did want to share. The last episode I did for Re-Emerging Earth, was the last episode of season two, was about coming out of the darkness into the light. And we all thought that was going to happen, didn't we? Once we'd come out of the pandemic and things started to get back to a kind of normalcy, that things would change perhaps. Certainly I was one of those who thought at the time, you know, because of the way we reacted and interacted with each other throughout the pandemic, throughout the, all the lockdowns and things like that, where things were quieting down, the relations between each other or the relationships between each other were getting better and so whether that would continue. Unfortunately, that's not the case because just, just before that last episode, obviously the situation in Ukraine kicked off and that's still ongoing. There's something that we thought would be over in a couple of months and over a year later, it's still going. You know, it's kind of digging its heels in, if you like. Well, hopefully that will be resolved soon. And you could say, well, why don't you do a tarot reading? I did. <laughs> it said springtime, but it didn't say when, which springtime or which year. <laughs> you know, and I did predict a ceasefire. Uh, so Christmas time. However, what I didn't take into account was I was looking at Western Christmas, when actual fact it was uh, Orthodox Christmas, which is more January. So we had that day or so of ceasefire. Had hoped it would be a bit longer than that, but not to be. Okay, guys, we are still coming out of the dark. We are re-emerging into a lighter and brighter future. It's just taking a little bit longer than anticipated. And I'll be discussing things like that also going forward. All right, guys, that's it. Finishing now. Want to get in out of the rain. <laughs> and look forward to chatting with you again very, very soon. Until then, guys, namaste.